Welcome to Talking Element, the prayer series edition. And today we are joined by Christy Morangi. Hi friends. During this series, we are handing out these prayer journals. You don't have to take one, but you can. And in that, you're gonna get a chance to write down your prayers or maybe you know, when you pray, if God is talking to you, to write some of those things down or, or maybe just questions that arise as you start to pray. And we asked Christy to join us because Christy is someone who already actually does this. And we thought it'd be a good thing because I did this maybe once when I was first became a Christian like years ago for two weeks. <laughs> and got bored with it and but maybe I think it's because I didn't know how to do it but you are someone who actually does have a prayer journal and yours is like so much more I mean these are cool but yours has like all kinds of like re leather straps on it and stuff it has all kinds it's very strappy so talk to me about this this prayer journal like what it is how did you first start <laughs> prayer journaling well first of all I love paper which is a really nerdy nerdy thing to say <laughs> but as far as like journaling and stuff goes. I like nice pens when I'm making, I am still a list maker. I like to write things down. It helps me remember things. And actually there's research that goes along with that. It helps you to remember when you write things down, but mostly I started journaling. And I think I might need that. <laughs> I know I do. <laughs> I carry pads of paper with me everywhere. About two years ago, I noticed, cause I was really not struggling in my prayer life, but like my brain is always going, which I'm sure you know something about that. And I kept getting distracted in the middle of my prayers, thinking about the things I had to do after I was done praying or, you know, the things I had to do tomorrow or, you know, and I'd find myself drifting off. And so I found it helped if I just literally, the way I do it, and it's not the way everyone would do it, is I literally write um, almost a letter to Jesus about what happened that day, the people I'm praying for, um, just how I'm feeling in general, if it had been a struggle that day, I just, and that's what I write. I just said, I really struggled today, Jesus. Here's the things I'm struggling with. I need your help or just stuff like that. But yeah, just, I don't even necessarily date them. Sometimes I do if there's something specific, but I don't know. I mean, it's usually about a page. Sometimes I'm feeling wordy mm. and I'll just do this. Um, when we were on our road trip, I actually wrote where we were at the time. So it kind of keeps like a little, I don't know journal of where we went to and like what I was thinking about and worrying about. And so how does that, that help in the end? Do you ever go back and read some of the old things you went through and prayed through? I do sometimes. And I think that's what I had read was a positive of this. You can go back and see how God was moving through your life because you can't really see it in the moment. Right. And, and sometimes you don't, sometimes you don't ever get the answer and that's fine too, because we trust God and God is good. But um, it is kind of nice to go back and see some of the things, especially like when I'm praying about my kids and like a decision that they're making, <laughs> decisions that they're making. There is um, lots of those, yes. There is. How it turned out and just like the thought process through it and maybe how even God has changed my thought process through it. and. I don't know. I think it reveals a lot. So if, so for people who have never done this, people like me, I'm, I'm going to try mm -hmm. as, as we go into it. And hopefully I'll enjoy it. Cause you get in the habit, you know, after like a month and you yeah. start doing it and hopefully it comes about. But what kind of tips of encouragement would you give in starting to do this, especially mm -hmm. if, oh, I didn't do it today. Do I got to write twice as much tomorrow yeah. to catch up or, you know, what's, give, give me some advice. See, that's my mindset is I'm such a, like a routine person. And then it's almost like, I feel like I have to punish myself because I forgot the day before or whatever. And I'm trying not to be that way because I mean, we're not that way when we talk to, you know, our friends, I have to talk to you twice as much today because I didn't talk to you yesterday. I try and make it like, it's just me and Jesus, you know, me writing and then listening to see what he's going to speak into my life. And there's a lot of times I'm like, oh, I don't have time to do this, but I'll start and I find I have time. I just have to put everything else off. And then the words just start coming. I would suggest that you pair it with something else you're already doing. We actually taught the kids this on Sunday. Like, let's say, you know, the first thing you do when you get up in the morning is drink a cup of coffee. Well, maybe pair journaling, <laughs> journaling with that cup of coffee. So when you go and reach for the cup of coffee, eventually, hopefully, you will automatically go, okay, the next thing I'm going to do is journal or I'm going to journal while I'm doing this. Or, or where you're associating like smells or tastes with. Yeah. 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 That was one of the things in um, Atomic Habits. Very good book. Um, where they talk about doing micro habits. So you just end habit stacking. And then it's something you're already doing already. And then it just triggers your mind. Oh yeah, that's right. I have to journal now. Or I 
get the chance to journal now. So, and I don't think journaling works for everyone because some people don't like to write things down and right. they don't, you know, and that's okay. So find and That's what I was else. trying to say. Not everybody needs to go and mm -mm. grab one because mm -mm. it's not just, hey, I took one of these and then I feel guilty every time I look at it because I'm not writing in it. <laughs> so what, what else do you think? Maybe somebody who isn't skilled at writing or mm -hmm. every time they start to write, they just, they kind of feel inadequate. Mm -hmm. what, maybe what, what could they do? I mean, it depends what your strengths are and what, what you love to do. I mean, if you love everything digital, type it into your computer or speak it into your phone or, or something like that. You could even, like if you're artistic, maybe draw, maybe paint. I know there's a lot of people that when they're reading God's Word, if they draw next to it, that kind of helps imprint it in their brain. Luke Sabern does that actually. Oh, nice. He's got a, and he has a, a little journal and it's kind of like a purge, but he writes things down in, and as he listens to a message and he'll, he'll sit down and he'll, and he'll draw mm -hmm. as he goes through it. Mm -hmm. And those pictures help him to remember what was being said and what he was thinking at the time. Yeah, yeah. With the kids, a lot of the kids, and you're gonna find this if you wanna start creating habit with your kids, um, we'll just tell them to draw what they heard, mm -hmm. like in the story, because they can't write. And, and then you'd be like, my kid's never gonna be an artist. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> my my drawings look just like theirs, so <laughs> I was not an artist. I am a be. horrible artist. <laughs> Me too. But it could also be fun for yeah. you to figure out. Yeah. Why did we invest in these prayer journals and what do we hope for the people that take them? I think one of the reasons that we did the journals, because we've, we've done the booklets before. Mm -hmm. and we put together this whole booklet in the middle of doing it. We just had this idea of giving uh, everybody else something that was tangible like this to be able to write through. Because once you start figuring out how prayer impacts your life and how you start praying for others and it helps you to see beyond you, this is one of the perfect things to do to start keeping track of the things that God is doing. And we'll begin to see more the faithfulness of God that we so often lose track of. We'll see what, what God is continuing to do. It'll help us to become more focused because sometimes mm -hmm. people think, think prayer is so hard because we're just not focusing. And when you're writing something down, it actually helps you to become much more focused. Mm -hmm. And I know there's probably some people where this thing will last them the rest of their life. And there's mm -hmm. some people it will last them three days because they'll just zip right through it. Mm -hmm. But it, it's a, something we wanted to hand to people to give them the ability to try something new. Maybe they haven't before. And if they do do this already, then it's something they can have that actually reminds them of this series one day when they open up their nightstand and, oh, hey, there's the element one that I did. That's cool. Do you have anything else that you'd like to share about? Yeah, make it uh, a thing that you look forward to. Mm -hmm. Don't make it a chore. Because if it's a chore, then it's really not accomplishing, I think, what, what we are intending. Because yeah, there are things that are good about a discipline, right? Mm -hmm. I want to discipline myself to make sure I do this thing. Yeah. And for me, that's what it's going to be. Mm -hmm. It's going to be, I'm going to discipline myself to do this, but I'm also, mm -hmm. if I miss a night, I'm not going to feel guilty about mm -hmm. it. I'm not going to feel like I have to write double. I'll just start where I left off and, yeah. and keep going from there. It, it should in the end move to a place that's a joy and it may reinforce I'm not great at journaling or mm -hmm. it may be like, you know, this is helpful to me and maybe I don't need to do it every day, but if I did it once a week, it would help me to reflect on all the things that I kind of went through mm -hmm. as well. I, I just, I really think that if we start modeling and working through prayer with one another, it's gonna help us to come to the place where we do see the faithfulness and goodness of God. I think it is. And in the beginning, it might be a chore, but it does, end up being something that when I don't do it, I miss it because I feel yeah. like I missed that time with Jesus that day. Even though I didn't. If you are watching this talking element online and maybe you're not here and you're somewhere else, but you're still going along with it with us and you would like a prayer journal and a booklet, uh, just send us an email at connectedourelement.org and we will make sure we get one to you into your hands. Uh, the booklet, there's going to be a, a link down here somewhere and you can actually click and you can download a PDF of the booklet as well of our prayer series that we're going through. But if you would really like to get one of these in your hands, let us know. Send us an email and we'd love to be able to get it to you. Well, yeah, while supplies last <laughs> because we will run out. And I've, I think, taken 10 of these at this point. I keep giving them to people, so I might be the one who makes them run out. <laughs> See you next time.